For this special Halloween edition of Kitco News, we have brought back one of our most popular guests, Mahendra Sharma. He's here to tell us what the stars have in stores for the medals. Mahendra, our financial astrologer guru, joins me now from Santa Barbara. Thanks for being with us, Mahendra. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Mahendra, last time we spoke was in July when gold was in the 1223, 1228 range. You were calling for a 10% increase. And that has somehow panned out. Any thoughts on this? Yes, I think I think that was uh, the short-term positive cycle is started for the gold. So so I predicted, I recommended people to buy there uh, fearlessly and gold moved quite nicely. It went to almost 15, 16, 17% higher the, from that level. Uh, yeah, uh, these are the shorter term cycle. Uh, they, they always come in between uh, the positive cycles. Uh, but still, if somebody is looking for the longer term bet, uh, uh, if they want to put on gold, I think I think still they should wait for the some more time uh, before they start uh, buying uh, metal stocks or metal. Uh, so, so I think in between from here to July next year, gold may move both side directions and uh, there will be a time uh, in the coming time between now and July that gold may uh, drop drastically because of the speculation reason or maybe there's some people holding the big uh, so you see a bottom in store now for gold mahendra yes uh i can call 100 percent bottom for the gold in 2014 july 100 percent bottom where the people will have maybe five percent risk involved in the gold if they if they put money in the gold or the gold stocks but uh, from here to july 2014 uh, I think I think uh, I cannot call it out bottom, clear bottom. There will be a time cycle, and I always write on my website that the positive time cycle then 10 to 15 percent move uh, in in gold or or gold stocks. But but if somebody want to, or is somebody asking that Mahendra, when shall we start buying gold or accumulating metals or accumulating uh, physical gold? then I will definitely say that wait for the July 2014 opportunity is coming. Hold your cash and uh, you will get a great opportunity in between when drastic fall, 15, 20 percent drastic fall comes. They should be start buying a small quantity, but nobody should buy with high leverage uh, 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 any positions in the gold until the uh, July uh, 2014. So Mahendra, you see July 2014 as a turning point for gold, but what do we do from now until then? Oh, yeah, definitely uh, because of the stock market going higher, equity going higher, uh, that's the the main money pulling uh, and, 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 and people will be investing a lot in the equity and the stock market, but definitely Palladium. Palladium is my favorite uh, for the 2013. So far, Palladium has been trading very, very stable and never fell uh, drastically. Whenever it went down, it came back sharply. And I won't surprise by end of the year, uh, Palladium uh, moving sharply higher 20% from here. Next year, again, I see a bull market for Palladium. Palladium, Palladium many will surprise. I'm predicting here today on Kitco that the time is coming, palladium and platinum prices may get to the near to the par. So this is something big predictions according to me. Now Mahendra, you were calling for a thousand dollar palladium, so you're obviously sticking to this? Yes, yes, I'm I'm sticking to these uh, palladium predictions and uh, people should invest the palladium stocks. Uh, they should diversify more from the uh, precious metal to the palladium, palladium stocks. and. Um, Platinum will trade uh, quite stable. So on that note, before I let you go, Mahendra, are you bullish on the U.S. dollar? Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm very much uh, optimistic about this trend. Though, though my accuracy has been not that great on the U.S. dollar, especially in last uh, few years. But, but I think those who are investing in the gold, they should wait for the better opportunity. I think better opportunity will come uh, around the around the end of the March get ready to buy metals end of the march get ready to buy metal end of the june i think those will be two time cycle where the gold will be trading uh, very very stable currently i see if somebody is investing for the shorter period currently november month of november still gold prices will try to hold on at the current level but uh, i won't surprise if gold goes 
near to the 1100 or 1000 level by end of the year so people should be a little bit careful okay words of caution from mahendra today mahendra i'd also like to take this time to wish a very happy diwali oh thank you very much thank you all right mahendra thank you so much and happy halloween to all our viewers thanks for tuning in you can email me at newsfeedback@kirko.com or follow me on twitter at dinyala kamboni thanks for watching